Uh, okay, back. Doing a, another snuff review. First time that I've done one of these um, tap tins from Wilson's on the Show and doing Africa, which I've never heard of, but I remember seeing it three months ago. And it looked interesting. Now, these are much easier to open than the ones with the tape around the side. It's like, like this one. Oh, these tapes. I found annoying then they leave like they leave like little bits of stickiness on there okay so it's hard for me to decide what to open this time because if you saw my package opening mm, I don't think I'm gonna enjoy this one so much um no idea what it's supposed to be but Kind of like that fermented tobacco sent from without twisting the tin around. So these are like those tins like uh, Silver Dolly is. Oh. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so let's see what we got. Let's see what the tin note is. Something. Good. It's like, ah, uh, sweet. I, it's hard for me to get what the, I just get something sweet from the tin. Maybe a bit of menthol, but I can't tell if that's just, that I was sitting in a box with like 10 of these. So, I guess there's no choice but to get some out of it. Yeah, if you can see what it looks like, we've got... It's kind of, I guess, normal Wilson's. Maybe a little bit more coarse than normal. I like that. Yeah, there's some pretty big chunks in there. It feels a little bit dry, but that could be from these, these tins. Opa! I just spilled it all over the place. Yeah. Much drier than what I... It's very dark. But at the same time, it's dry. So is it... you would think that it would be moist, but it's not. So... Kind of a fruity smell to it. Like stone fruit, like um, I guess like apricots, and there's some Devon burn there. It was almost like a, a, a hint. Was it like a, like like what I said? Like it sat next to menthol. But it's really there's a uh, very strong, I guess, a fermented tobacco smell, like. Kind of like what you get from this Elmo's Reserve. Eh. It's not very, we can call it offensive. Like, it's not something that, let's say, eh. I am feeling the nicotine from it though. I didn't take all that much. But it does have that fermented smell to it. And I want to say like the apricot smell. But it, it's really, I don't know if it's whether, it, it could just be that this tin is to blame. But it's really nothing, doesn't feel like anything special. Not bad, it's not great either. It's very neutral, I would say. A little bit of a sweetness to it. Like I said before, like maybe the maybe apricots or peach. And a very light. Um, 
fermented tobacco smell. The nicotine on this it does feel pretty strong. Sorry that I mean it's it's not something usually usually get a something to talk about here. There's not really so much not so much to talk about on this one. I'm starting to get a bit of a a back trip. But, yeah, very forgettable. Not something that I would, you know, if it's around, I'd use it. You know, it, it, there are snuffs that sometimes that, that you won't be in the mood for them. This is not, oh. I think if you need the nicotine hit, I mean, it's easy enough to get out of the tin because of how dry it is. Remember that they have these notches here, and you have to line up a notch. It's kind of scared to get take another. Look at this. You see how fast that came out? You usually got to work to get them out of these tins. Like, I want to say that there was menthol here, but it evaporated or something. Uh, I don't think I would buy this one again. Kind of disappointing. I think they were on sale though, so not such a loss. It could just be because of the packaging too. So let me know in the comments if you've tried uh, Wilson's of Cheryl Africa and uh, you had a different result from me and whatever. Okay, this is not going back. Okay. okay, well. I'm getting back into these. There should be some more ones coming up in the next few days or weeks or something. Call it. Oh, and you, this is going on library first and then YouTube eventually, or maybe I'll try the other one because the last time I put it up on YouTube, it didn't, didn't get transferred over to the library. And I should also, there's a, I have like a store where you can buy some, some t-shirts and cups and stuff that helps me out too. Okay, call it.